second and address this the second annual meeting of the National Civil Registration and Vital Statistics Steering Committee organized by MOIFAR. Let me begin by acknowledging and appreciating MOIFAR's efforts to strengthen the civil registration through policy and legislative reforms and improved in interministerial coordination and interoperability. We very much appreciate the leadership that MOIFAR has shown in spearheading progress on the long-standing issue of developing an inclusive ecosystem for the civil registry and vital statistics in conjunction with the national ID. We do recognize the positive initiative of the government uh, of Somalia with reference to the national identification system launched by the Prime Minister in September. This important event underscored the leadership's dedication to the successful implementation of the identification system in Somalia. In addition to the ID, the government is making significant progress on the universal social registry. In combination, this will allow the government and partners to provide complementary suite of targeted services to increase human capital. In the same vein, we are encouraged to witness the positive developments on the legislation, institutionalization, and integration of CRVS with the ID system, connecting the elements of foundational identity with functional identity. Ladies and gentlemen, Excellencies, we understand that the implementation of this system aims to enable individuals to easily access essential services and actively participate in the country's development. By providing citizens and residents with, with official uh, identification documents, the ID and CRBS uh, systems will enhance the ability of citizens to engage in various sectors such as education, healthcare, employment, financial services, and social welfare. Furthermore, the ID and CRBS will help establish a seamless connectivity between the identification systems and various public and private institutions. And this integration will allow for efficient and reliable verification of individuals' identities, enabling streamlined service provision in sectors such as banking, telecommunications, transportation, and public administration.